Hey guys, Dr. Berg here. In this video, we're going to talk about muscle loss and intermittent fasting. Now, a lot of times people will ask me, well, I'm a little concerned about doing intermittent fasting, whether it's even eating two meals a day with no snacks or three meals a day without snacks, they're concerned they're going to lose their muscle mass or they want to work out and build muscle mass. And so when I tell them to lower the amount of protein, they kind of freak out sometimes because they think, oh my gosh, I'm going to become atrophied. Well, let's just kind of dive deeper into really what happens. There's there's really two types of hormones. Hormones that are uh, catabolic, which means they break things down, okay? And the main catabolic hormone is cortisol. It's very destructive. So even when you work out and you break your muscles down, or you go through a major stress and break your muscles down, um, the hormone responsible for that is called cortisol. But then the body is supposed to recover when you're sleeping through opposite hormones, which are more anabolic. So the anabolic hormones build things up. And that's what people want. They want to build muscle mass. They want to uh, retain their muscles. They want to get lean bo uh, body mass. Well, growth hormone is the main hormone that does that. It does several things. It's the main fat burner. It, uh, it, it creates protein growth. It builds lean body mass. It's anti-aging. Um, so in Guyton's Physiology, my friendly book here, um, textbook. I want to show you something on page 888. It says right here, growth hormone also mobilizes large quantities of free fatty acids from the adipose tissue. So basically it dissolves fat. And these in turn are used to supply most of the energy for the body cells, thus acting as a potent protein sparer. Okay, so what does that mean, protein spare? It means that it spares protein. It protects the loss of protein. So if you have enough growth hormone in your body, you will not get muscle loss, all right? So I'm gonna show you four ways to improve this. But typically, it would take you four days of fasting before your body even thought about breaking down muscle. So typically, you don't have to worry about it, but let's just take one step further and make sure that you're doing it correctly. Number one, Fasting, believe it or not, triggers growth hormone. So intermittent fasting helps you uh, retain the protein and it helps you burn fat. So it's not going to make things worse. Number two, hypoglycemia. So when you drop, uh, hypo means below sugar, like low sugar. So when you keep your sugars really, really low, your body will trigger increased amounts of growth hormone. So again, to salvage the protein in the body. So if you're trying to get lean body mass or you're trying to prevent atrophy and you're eating sugar, that's going to be a problem, okay? And, or you're eating all through the day. It's grazing or snacking. Bad idea. Uh, intense exercise also is a potent trigger for a growth hormone. But the key is making sure that you're recovering as well because the number four is sleep. So if you're actually not sleeping and you're exercising intensely, you can create a problem with growth hormone. But if you're sleeping good and you work out correctly without overtraining, you can trigger growth hormone and actually protect your muscles and the other proteins in your body. Now on the flip side, cortisol, the stress hormone, can block growth hormone. So what triggers cortisol? Stress, stress, stress. Lack of sleep, sugar will do it, uh, surgery, trauma, all that stuff. So basically, if you keep your stress down, intense exercise, intermittent fasting, interval training, sleep, keep your sugars out of the diet, you're going to be in good shape. So nothing to worry about. So I just wanted to kind of brief you on intermittent fasting. You don't have to worry about muscle loss, uh, but this is how you actually retain and uh, protect you against atrophy. I'll see you in the next video.